This is a tutorial for lift formula problems 11 through 15 from the worksheet for aerodynamics. A review of the, the basic uh, lift formula. Lift is equal to the coefficient of lift times density ratio times velocity squared in knots times surface area of the, of the wing divided by 295. And so then the other formulas used are load factor and load factor is equal to lift over weight and uh, load factor from bank angle can be found with the formula 1 over the cosine of the bank angle will give you the load factor per bank independent of airplane type speed doesn't matter a specific bank angle will give you a specific load factor. We're also going to use the categories normal utility uh, category aircraft, uh, but these are the load factors that these various uh, categories of aircraft are are uh, are built to. So normal categories 3.8 G's, utility 4.4, acrobatic 6, and transport categories 2.5, and these are all positive load factors. Negative load factors are less. Picking up at problem 11, we want to figure maneuvering speed for this normal category airplane. Start with the lift formula solve it for velocity so simply take that lift formula solve it for velocity then we're going to simplify that formula so that we don't have the square on the velocity so that puts the square root on the rest of the formula and then we add in this load factor so what would the stall speed be at this airplane uh, at a load factor of 3.8. So 3.8 times the weight of the airplane will give us the uh, lift that the wing is, has, to be, has to generate. So at what speed will this airplane stall? So then it's simply a matter of plugging the values in, the known values into the formula and solving it and the stall speed at a gross weight of 2,917 pounds pulling 3.8 G's so the weight is really the lift generated by the wing is really 3.8 times 2,917 uh, what speed would it stall if it has a CL max a coefficient of lift max which equates to the angle of attack at which this wing will stall of 2.4 if you have a wing area of 199 and assuming density ratio of 1, which is sea level, VA is going to be uh, 83 knots on this airplane. Problem 11 is identical to problem 12, except for the category of airplane, which is a 4.4. G airplane or certificated in the utility category so we would anticipate uh, that the stall speed would go up and so everything has worked the same as the previous problem except we use 4.4 G's instead of 3.8 so the wing would have to generate more lift and the stall speed would or the maneuvering speed would go up accordingly and so that calculates to 89 knots. This is a change in speed for a change in weight to give you the same conditions. In this case it's VA. So we've given a published VA of 120 knots. Add a gross weight of uh, 2,163 pounds 
what will your new VA be at a lesser weight? You would expect that VA to go down. Start with the lift formula, cross out everything that uh, we don't need. Uh, move all of condition 1 to the left side of the equal sign and condition 2 to the right side. So the knowns, we have lift under condition 1, which is the uh, gross weight of the airplane divided by the velocity for that particular weight and we would and we're given the new weight what would the new velocity be for the same conditions for the same weight and so we're going to solve that for the second velocity simplify the formula and we wind up with uh, the new weight divided by the old weight times the old velocity plug in the uh, values the known values and we wind up with a new VA at the lighter weight of 109 knots so this is a very important uh, manipulation of the lift formula to figure new VAs for new weights. This is just a load factor problem. Uh, you have uh, 1,747 pounds. Since load factor is equal to uh, lift divided by weight, we could figure lift then is equal to weight times load factor or 1747 pounds times 3.7 G's so at a load factor of 3.7 G's if your gross weight was 1747 pounds your wing was wing would be producing 6464 uh, 6, pounds of lift This problem is a two-step problem. First thing we need to figure out is how much lift the wing is actually producing at this, given these conditions. So we just take the lift formula, plug the known values in, and uh, we have uh, the, that wing is producing 12,190 pounds of lift. Then we go to the lift, or the, uh, we know that load factor is equal to lift divided by weight. Therefore, weight must be lift divided by load factor. And so, uh, it's a normal category airplane, so the load factor is 3.8. So that airplane in that configuration is weighing 3,208 pounds uh, because at a load factor of 3.8 the wing is producing 12,190 pounds of lift.